So we are at the end of day five of the renovation. So that's one full business week. And my contractor says that he is confident he can deliver the whole thing by next Friday. So two full weeks. Um, and he had originally told me seven to 10 days. And then he considered there was a problem with the floor. He's bang on time. I am just shocked. So I'm actually going to spoil a little bit and then show the new floor in here. It is gorgeous. I am just, I cannot get over how beautiful it is. Um, so the only thing left to do with the floor um, is the grout. And the grout's going to go in next week. Um, and then the grout is like a terracotta color and you think terracotta and just the, the, the word terracotta doesn't sound like it's going to work, but I have seen, they showed me like little sticks of it when it's dry and the guy that, at the, um, uh, at the floor place said, yeah, that's the color that we have to go with. So, um, I think, I think it'll be fine. So I'm really getting excited about getting things in. Uh, they haven't touched the bathroom yet. It's taking the time that it takes, right? But look at this. I asked for a place to put shampoo and stuff. And what a surprise, there's my niche that they're gonna be able to do a little ledge and I can put shampoo and soap. Like unbelievable the amount of like little things that happen that I don't even notice. Like I walked in this morning, late morning, I think we get to the Home Depot trip and they had fixed this whole door frame to get it ready for the new door. Um, but I didn't even see them working on it and I come by and it's done. Like, wow, like where did this happen, right? So um, it looks good. I got confirmation on my doors. They're going to get worked on and they'll be delivered at the beginning of the week. Um, so 10,200 10, pesos for the two doors installed with lock on the exterior door, etc. Seems like a really good deal because uh, things here aren't really standard. So you can't really go to Home Depot and buy a door and then you're still going to have to adjust. So having the doors custom made exactly like what I wanted just made sense. Um, we got my new little light fixture installed, which is better than the bare bulb. Um, we were at Home Depot this morning and I was just looking for a light fixture and it was very, very complicated. Um, so when we found the bathroom aisle and I said, you know, like everything turned out to be a lot more modern than what I was expecting. I said, you know what, this will do, this will do me just fine uh, for a bathroom. It's going to give you good light. Um, it's an LED bulb, so it's going to last me forever. Um, so I think, uh, I think that was a good choice. I think it'll look fine. Um, I'm going to, the closet, how beautiful that is. So we went shopping and I'm going to spoil a little bit because nobody's going to remember what anything looks like when it's in the box. So, um, shower head, my rain shower head that I want. It's not exactly like a rain shower head, but it's a, it's a wider one. It's more like better than what I had. So this is perfect. And the two taps. And then, um, we found the faucet tap that actually matches that has the same finish. Um, and then I'm not, I'm not going to show, I'm just going to kind of hint at what the sink is gonna look like. I am really excited about the sink. We've been going back and forth about that. And my idea of a concrete slab with a basin, my contractor was really keen on that. Um, but uh, when we got to Home Depot, we were limited in choice. Things that were on their website available weren't actually available in the store. Very, very frustrating. Um, shopping at Home Depot here online is not great because they only will look at the local stores and you're not like buying from a National Depot. So at any rate, because um, when we were looking, I probably wasn't logging into my account looking at my current store. So at any rate, so we were at Home Depot and looking at sinks and I didn't want um, a cabinet, like an MBF cabinet that was going to look bad in a couple of years. Anyway, we kept going back to the concrete slab and finally, my contractor sent me out to go look at lamps because we couldn't figure out the sink. And finally I said to him, I said, with whatever is here, what do you recommend for the sink? And he said, well, I really like your idea, but he says, let's change the shape of the sink from what you wanted and let's go and change the tap. So anyway, we, um, we kind of compromised. And so this is the tap that, that worked. I didn't really like the style. It's very modern. It's not really my style, but um, I'm gonna get the sink that I want with it in a different shape though. So I'm, I, I think he's just, I think he's just fantastic. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, we got a mirror and the mirror, I thought that was kind of funny because um, I just wanted something very, very simple because the tile in the bathroom is gonna have a pattern on it. So I was just looking just for a, you know, like a, a beveled mirror and this was the right size for the space. 
and it was the absolute least expensive mirror that they had and it came with a little shelf on the bottom like a little glass shelf and i've only got like 50 centimeters um for the concrete shelf on which the sink is gonna sit and there's not really any place to put like you know put a toothbrush or a brush or anything at all so the little shelf is going to be perfect and my contractor says it's going to work great with the model of the sink so and it was like maybe a thousand pesos for the mirror like i just i couldn't believe that i would never have thought of that the contractor wouldn't have thought of that but it was there so yay um this is going to be a detention bar to hold the shower curtain so and there's my bonita cameo um, and the only other thing that I really had to compromise on was the um, towel rack and the bar and the toilet paper holder. The one that I wanted uh, was out of stock. And like I was looking at the quality of the pieces there and I didn't want like plastic, um, like metal covered or plastic covered with like a chrome finish. Um, like I, I, you know, I wanted something that was gonna wear well and this was like in appearance, this is what, what I wanted. It looked very close to what I had originally picked out. Um, and I thought it would look well with the taps, but this one I couldn't, there was no like display model out and I couldn't touch it. And I decided um, for the price, I decided I was gonna take a chance and take it home. And if I didn't like it, I was gonna jump on Amazon Prime tonight and order something else. So I opened it up and it's definitely not like the best quality. Like you can tell this is not like a solid metal rod but there is definite heft to these pieces. Um, and there's, def there's definite metal in there. Um, and I think I think it's gonna be just fine. Um, I like, Cause I like the, to the toilet paper holder. Cause I don't like the kind that has like a little rod that you have to change and everything. I like, you can just slip it on. And then I like, this one had a round thing for the, the hand towel. Um, and then there's this one right here. This is like just a little hook for your robe. So it had everything I wanted in one, in one package. And the price is right, so um, I think I'll be. I think I will be just fine with this. Like I was really not sure, but I'm just like feeling the pieces, and I'm like, you know what? This will work. This will work just fine. So it's that was kind of a compromise, but I think it'll be okay. So I'm really excited to get going on Monday with because they're giving me the weekend. Uh, we're talking about painting uh, next week, and he's like, you got a weekend to think about where you want your paint to go, and I'm like, I already know what I want to do with the paint. He's already thinking about the bedroom project, which is great. It's still in his mind because we were at Home Depot again this morning. And um, he said, um, would you mind if we add an angle grinder to the shopping cart? Because we're going to need one to finish doing the tile. And also, like, we're going to really need it upstairs uh, with the amount of cuts we have to do upstairs because the, like, the closet isn't a straight isn't straight and everything and it was like a thousand pesos for a ryobi which i know is a good brand so i said you know just throw it in the cart <laughs> at this point it doesn't make a difference um i figured out i'm going to come into this project at about a hundred thousand total and that's not just the renovation that's also um like my, my monitor support and of course my expensive custom chair that I, is still in chicago being built so that's like five thousand us dollars and i think i'm going to get a lot for my money so anyway, so I'm going to go and work because I, yesterday was a really good day for me to get some work done. I really got a lot of my, I got a full work day and I was done when they left at four o'clock. I was, I was done, but today I'm going to be working late again. So, um, I'm, I'm delighted. I think that we've done a lot of progress this week. Um, and now it's, now we're at the cosmetic stuff. I mean, of course we've got the bathroom um put together but i think the bathroom because they're not re they're not moving any of the plumbing they're using the existing pipes and everything and it's just cosmetic changes i think it's going to go probably a lot faster than i would expect and i just realized i was wondering how they pa how they did this electrical socket because there was no there was nothing like cut or anything for the for passing wires and i just realized they passed it through the bathroom wall interesting <laughs> Um, you know, he knows what he's doing, so I'll just trust him on that one. But I'm really delighted that he's got my my niche like set up. Um, I don't know how exactly how they're going to finish that, but uh, the location's perfect. And then they're going to do me um, a little shelf in the corner. Um, so I think it's going to be sweet. All right, back to work I go. I'm working on an interesting interesting case this weekend, so that makes it easier to you know put the nose to the grindstone. She likes her cameo. There we go. Good girl.